Um, so we're going to play a couple pop tunes for you. Um, or one, it depends on how long things are to take. Um, but uh, we're going to start off with a little Taylor Swift for you. This is I Knew You Were Trouble.
Megan looking for you. She's right in here. She's like
Hello again, it's me. Uh, I'm Andy Lacopola. I'm the uh, music department chairperson as well as the high school band director. If any of you guys are looking for seats, we've got plenty down this way. Uh, this is one of those concerts where the kids don't get to be here live, but they're watching it via the live stream in their holding tanks, which you can pick them up after the concert. Before we start, uh, I just want to remind you of our emergency exits on both sides of the auditorium and in the back. Um, we are here to celebrate music in our schools month. We have designated March as that throughout New York State. Um, since I was a kid, all those years ago, we've, we've done activities like this. Uh, so this is our chance to bring almost every group from 5th grade to 12th grade to perform for you. And while it might seem like a really long evening, it's not. Last year was almost 50 minutes, 5-0. We were done in under an hour, and we're predicting about that for this evening, because the way it flows, we've got a bunch of student volunteers that are helping move things along. It is our hope that you'll stick around for the entire thing, because what you'll get to see is where your child has been in our music department and where they're going in our music department. So you, you parents of fifth graders get a chance to hear what they will sound like when they're in high school, and vice versa. You high school parents get to reflect back on how they all started here, uh, which is a, a, a pretty cool thing. So, a um, couple quick things. As a celebration of music in our schools month, oh, I love the lights. I just want to see you guys. Come on, Jacob, keep that up there. Jacob Sweet is our volunteer helping with the lights. He's practicing, so. We kicked off the month uh, last weekend. I saw a lot of faces here tonight that I felt like I just saw here earlier in the day uh, for the High School Musicals presentation of Tarzan, uh, an amazing event comprised of our students, your children, and of course you parents and community volunteers that this stage looked nothing like this uh, a few days ago. So congratulations to the Drama Club and the parents and the students who participated in that last weekend. On your program, you'll see the logo for this year is IC Music Education, and the N and the E are highlighted. I've been working with kids for 30 plus years, and every year, every day, I have kids say to me, this is my place, I need to be here. So it's, it's, their, it's, their, it's their tool that they use to keep things going, to keep themselves level. Um, so when you read it the other way, it says, I see me in that. So hope you check that out. Um, I want to thank our special guest, Stephanie and David, for performing for you. Uh, that, like I said, that brochure will be out on Parent Square. It'd be great to have some people uh, participate in that. We've had some generous donors to this program that have helped cut the cost of the tuition for it in half, and in some cases, almost 100%. Um, so if money is an issue, please apply for the scholarship. Um, we, we have some very, very generous uh, community members here that are, that are willing to help with that stuff. Um, as far as the concert itself, I'm going to ask you to keep the aisles clear. The way this works quickly is the students come in this door, they perform, and then they leave on that far aisle. So they'll be walking straight back out to their holding tanks and watching the rest of the concert. So make sure that aisle is clear over here. Um, the pickup locations, in case you didn't see, are there on the bottom of the program. Uh, the Knox Band is down at the gym, which if you go that way, you'll hit the gym eventually. And the Knox Chorus Kids are in the large cafeteria, which is right across from the gym. So same deal, go down the hallways that way, you'll see everybody finding their kids. So my special friends helping tonight uh, to get the kids in and out, Molly Quartz, Marcus Wilson, Maya LaCopla, and Gianna Rizzo. I've already mentioned Jacob Sweet on the lights. Janiah Spriggs and Malin Matthews are back running sound for us tonight. Uh, Molly Young was helping backstage if we needed some setup stuff, and Jalen Christman is also helping with the uh, Knox Band kids. And of course, a big thank you to you parents and community members, Board of Education members, administration, fellow teachers, this community. I mean, this is what it's all about, and it's the students that make this stuff work. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce our superintendent of schools, Dr. William Crankshaw, who would like to say a few words. Um, I would like to welcome you to this year's Music at Our Schools Month concert. It's a great celebration. I want to thank first our teachers who help prepare students. So, Jacob Kinden, uh, Betsy Lehman, Jeff Casey, Kayla Wilson Hunt, Abby McCann, and of course, Andy LaCopla. And most of you probably don't remember Kayla Christian, Christensen, but she was here earlier this fall, especially at Pleasant Avenue when we want to help us out. For, for, for so each of these teachers are highly trained. Um, they're skilled to deliver first grade music instruction to nearly 1,600 students of our district. 
And they also offer, they try to offer them more in terms of inspiration, safe haven, guidance, encouragement, love, direction, high expectations and appreciation for hard work, appreciation for duty, respect for themselves, others, respect, appreciation and acceptance for the differences of others in their ways of life, and so many other qualities. Music really does speak to all of those important educational and human elements of our lives. I would like to just take a moment right now, um, kind of a sad occurrence in our greater community, and um, this moment of silence is for A.J. Smolens, a student at Mayfield Central School and son to Bob and Megan Smolens. Many of you know Bob is our assemblyman, and um, he always looks out for our, our district and the interest of our community. And A.J. lost his life very, very recently. And I'd like to just take a moment. And third, I got thinking about what I might say tonight, and I think the stories um, that we can tell are most compelling sometimes. A really good story is a really good story. So this morning I woke up early, I think it was 2.30 a.m., and I, and I put a Facebook post out there, and I said, hey, all of you along, why don't you just send me a comment or two about your experience with music in the Greater Johnson School District, and maybe I can highlight a few of those comments tonight. So I'd like to do a few of those, if you don't mind. It won't take very long. But class of 2002, the band and choir rooms were my safe place, my sanctuaries. 16 years as a professional military musician, I performed for millions of people, presidents, royal heads of state, and in several countries. Class of 1995, Greater Johnson District Music Programs gave me the confidence and helped my running coaching, with breathing techniques, and also my running, gave me the discipline, time management skills, and experiences like going to Italy. I continued singing. Um, I can now support my athletes as a teacher um, because of what I learned back at Johnstown High School. Class of 2019, Johnstown showed me not only to have good work ethic, but also how to remain constantly in gratitude for the opportunities we are given. Since graduating from Johnson, I've been fortunate enough to perform over 60 plus concerts and recitals, and I've learned about musicality, but also collaboration, and lifelong friends and colleagues. And I expect hundreds of these comments to come, so we actually are going to section off a page on our, on our website and list these comments. And if you have comments, reply to my Facebook post, I'm sure you can find it. And with that, um, I just want to say, um, you know, I know music has certainly affected my life. The demonstration that you showed up tonight, that you're supporting your child in music, that you support it all, is a testament to the importance you feel music has in our curriculum and the educational experience. So thank you for attending tonight. I can't wait to see these performances, and I'm sure you can't do it. So enjoy.
Thank you.
this will put you to sleep. 